Hey guys, uh, just a quick update about my mini nez and my mini snes um, and my problems trying to add Neo Geo games. Firstly, I want to thank everyone who replied and tried to help me. I, I really appreciate, um, you know, your uh, your comments and that. Thanks very much. And I'm happy to say that um, I, I've got I've got it working. What I had to do, and I was following YouTube videos, and in not one video did it tell you that you had to get the um, Neo Geo module file and actually extract it into user mods in your Hatchy folder, which is what I've done, and it's here. So, so then... You've also got to install the mods and then you've also got to put the Neo Geo BIOS in with the game. Alright. But, um, I was going to show you, but my computer is really, really slow. But I'll show you what I mean if it allows me to. Is it in this one? Right. Uh, okay, so the Neo Geo zip file is the BIOS file. You've got the Neo Geo ROM BIOS file. And I've added the, the cover art. And it all goes into... The, where the other where you've saved the other games into the games folder where Hatchy saved, okay. So that and before that, I extracted this uh, Neo Geo module into the user mods folder, so it's right there. Okay, so I've done all that, and obviously, then I had to rename. This was saying uh, zip. It now I renamed it to Neo. Okay, so it's, it's that find. It has to find a path to where the uh, the game is. So you have to change that from zip to Neo. In the command line suggestion, so I've done that. Uh, after you've added the modules, which is here, install modules, change that, and then zinc the games, which I've done. Now go to where my mini nez is. Um, and just to show you. It works. It flipping works. Listen to that. I'm, I'm just so happy. It's taken me like a week. Um, uh, I'm so happy that I've got finally got this working. Um, select buttons gives you all the credits that you want. And the game is working brilliantly. So yeah, that's the update. I want to tell you that I've now got it working. Um, can't play it one-handed, but nah, I need a bit of practice. So thanks again, everyone, for trying to help and all your comments and everything. Really appreciate it. And um, some more videos coming up next. Let me know if you want to see like a particular game or how to do something. Um, if you follow me, you know I'm into the action figures as well. I've got some new action figures, so I'm going to be putting um, probably put my next video will most probably be of that. Um, so again, thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Hey guys, I know I said bye, but I just wanted to add another video just to 
make it I'm not very good at explaining things but I just want to make it a tad little bit clearer on what you have to do um, so when you go to add more games um, pick um, these are my uh, Neo Geo games okay this, if we go to like Windjammers all right, and then we go open it all comes up like that just don't select anything just import as archive okay remember to change this this zip it's a zip change it to neo and it needs it needs a gap there so it needs a gap there after which is neo okay once you've imported it into your hack chi it then creates a folder, a games folder, in the Hatchy folder which you've got on your computer where your games are saved. So these, for example, this is my mini NES games and this is my mini SNES games and they're all in these folders. Okay, so they're all numbered. The number up here, up here, corresponds to number here. Uh, um, Usually I just look for the, like, if I do like one game, I look for the date and I can see, see it says Windjammers there. So that's my game that I've just put in. It, it's only in the folder because I've put it in Hatchy first. Okay. Then, you mustn't forget, very important, to copy over the Neo Geo BIOS. That's it. That's all you need. Uh, it's got no picture there because I'll add a picture now. But this is the game. Sorry, this is the game. This is the Neo Geo BIOS. You don't have to extract them. You can keep it like that. Um, go back to Hatchy. Yeah, let's see if we can just get a picture for it quickly. My computer is painfully slow. Like it needs a major, major, major update. But yeah, oh, you can't, I don't know if you can hear my computer struggling to load. <laughs> oh, mate. So after you've done this, you hit sync. After the pictures come out, I'm going to choose a picture, but it's taking ages, so I'm just going to tell you. After you've selected your picture, hit synchronize games. Um, I've got nearly 900 games there, almost on my mini NES, and I've got. Uh, I've used up 245 megabytes and I've got 302. I can. F it shows you here look, uh, how, how much space you've got. I, I can fit a little bit more on. I've also got. Ah, oh, got a picture here now, finally. As I was talking, the pictures are coming up. Um, I think I'm going to go for. I'll go for that one for now. Come on. See, it's added the, the picture. Um, so, yeah, I wouldn't, f I would leave a gap because you need some room for game saves, I think, and things like that. So, yeah, sync games. And it's uploading the games. That's going to take a while to upload because it's up trying to upload. Oh, yes. This has come up. I've forgotten all about this. So, my new games have now gone into the unsorted folder I did add the, a ninja game as well um, all you do is drag them in, into I made a Neo Geo folder see and just drag them in there so they're in there now or well, they will be once that moves over come on. and then Okay, and that's it. It's now going to upload the games. So it's because it's not almost 900 games. Going to take its time. I just wanted to make that clear on how to add the games in Hatchy 2. It's a little bit more to remember when when doing the Neo Geo games. If I've been a help to anyone, I'm happy. I hope I haven't bored you to death, and I, and I want to say thanks to. Um, 
all the other YouTubers out there who make really good videos explaining what to do. Even though none of them really helped me in the long run. <laughs> but uh, for the most part, um, when I'm when I'm stuck, I, you know, I always go to a YouTube video for help. And they are very, very helpful. So I'm grateful for that. Uh, thanks again for watching, guys. Thank you. Bye.